Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back for another DIY makeover. Today it's all about our outdoor backyard area. We figured that it's summertime and we're spending way more time out here, so we wanted to give this space a little facelift, a little TLC, a couple DIYs, some cleaning, new home decor, like you guys know the deal by now. I just wanted to refresh this space and make it as enjoyable as possible for the months we're going to be spending outside a lot. Now the first project I wanted to tackle in this space is adding some more flowers. It was actually kind of Christian idea he mentioned that we should put some plants in here or put flower beds or bushes or something because it just seems so dead in our backyard we have this giant patch where there used to be mulch Bucky has kicked most of that up but we figured that it would be a good idea to build some planter boxes here very simple and also DIY style so at Lowe's we grabbed some soil mulch the plants and then also a bunch of two by eight boards we got them cut down in the store to four feet long so we don't have to cut them at all or even sand them we just left them now natural as is and we're going to build two four by four planter boxes now me being me i wanted to be a little bit extra and have them match our outdoor couch that we also diy'd a while ago i'll link a video here where my husband and i put it together and stained it but i still had the same stain that we used on the outdoor couch so i poured this out into a little pie dish cut up an old t-shirt to use as a rag and then stained all of the boards that we would be using to build these planter boxes so they match that couch yeah Now, I am not a gardener by any means. I do not have a green thumb. I'm honestly still shocked that these plants are still alive as I'm speaking to you guys right now. They're actually doing really well, but I could be doing a lot of things wrong regarding gardening. This is my first time ever attempting anything like this, so be kind in the comments if you have lots more experience with me or tips or ideas of how I could do this better in the future or just any advice, I welcome it, but be kind. I know sometimes people can get a little bit defensive about people jumping into a topic they don't know a lot about, but regarding staining the planter boxes, I did a little bit of research just to double check that it wasn't going to like just kill the plants if I stained this wood. I didn't want this leaching into any of the soil or whatever. And I read online in a couple places it was totally cool to stain the outside of your boards. So that's why I'm only staining the outside of these. The inside where the soil will be touching, I'm not treating at all. I'm just going to leave natural. And then as far as the stain goes, this is actually just a deck stain, which I prefer for our outdoor stuff because it's also like water resistant and I don't have to seal it with a polyurethane top coat or anything like it's just one coat and you're good and you're done you make me nervous i think i might be hooked on you i love the things you said you said to me to me it seems like you like me too During this whole process, I definitely made the joke to Christian that this is the easiest DIY I have ever requested his help on. We didn't cut any wood, we had the people at Lowe's do it, and all Christian did to assemble these was just hold the edges together, take a wood screw, and drill them together. That's it. We didn't look up any plans or anything. I knew I wanted this very simple and minimal and basically as easy as possible, and that's exactly what we did here. Trying to find another way to say this, but I think, I think we were meant to be. You make me anxious. I think I might be stuck on you. I love the things you did, you did for me, for me. It seems like you're dropping clues. There's no need to rush, so let's just take 
Now, a lot of my inspiration for our garden came from watching Natalie Bennett's homestead video on building their DIY garden. I highly recommend checking out her channel and specifically that video if you're into gardening or thinking about making your own. She mentioned that they were going to be doing the no dig method for planting their stuff. So basically, we're not gonna be putting our plants directly into the ground here. We're gonna be doing a layer of cardboard and then adding soil on top of that. Obviously, that's why we have the raised beds to add soil into them. And then we're gonna be putting the plants in there. So watch her video if you want more information on that. I couldn't really tell you the benefits for doing that, just that it sounded like a good idea to me and would definitely work for our home because the ground right here is super tough and super sandy and I really don't think something would grow well if we dug into it. And it was also a great way to use up a bunch of cardboard that we had from all of the packages that I get all the time from Amazon and Target. So just sit with me Talking through the night and through the morning Building chemistry I don't think I ever want to go come closer next to me Trying to find another way to say this But I think, I think You were meant to be with me Talking to the night and to the morning Building cat mystery now everything we bought for this project came from Lowe's. Um, I'm sure Home Depot would carry everything too, but the soil, the wood, the plants, all of it came from there. And I know this won't apply to every one of my viewers, but I know a good number of you guys are military families. And one little reminder is that both Lowe's and Home Depot offer a military discount. So don't forget to ask for that whenever you're shopping there. You told me more than once to show you my intention. My brain gets blocked at times, but now Somehow I'll give you my attention You've got to know that I I ain't a person who understands All the clockwork of our romance You make me feel so alive Always there in my mind But I just don't know If you're gonna be moving on solo, wait a second, cause they're playing the best. Buying all of our supplies, staining the wood, building the boxes, all of this stuff had basically taken up almost an entire day at this point, and we had just been taking turns passing Madeline off to one another while the other worked, and she was getting a little bit fussy, so all I'm gonna do here is put the plants where I planned on having them planted, and then we're gonna come back to this project once it was baby girl's bedtime, or once it was after her bedtime and she was asleep. That's when I'm gonna come back out here and finally plant everything, and then also put the mulch out, and I was hesitant if we even needed the mulch. I wanted to do this definitely on a budget and not spend tons of money, but I was really surprised to see one, how inexpensive mulch was. I think the big bags we bought were less than $3 each, and I think it really makes the space feel so much nicer and more complete. I feel like it still would have felt not as nice if we had just left the planter boxes and not put the mulch there. I mentioned earlier we didn't want to do fruits and vegetables and actual food in this garden. Maybe one day in the future, but this house is not the place for it. One, we're renting this space, so we don't want to spend lots of time and effort to build out a full garden and then be leaving it soon. And also we have lots of birds and bugs in this area, and I would cry basically if all of my hard work and efforts were just eaten by a bird. So some of the plants we ended up buying were a single zucchini plant, a single cucumber plant, and a strawberry plant, but that was it. Everything else are just herbs or lavender. And then I got a row here full of hydrangeas. And then behind it is a row of gardenias that I'm fingers crossing will bloom. My parents' house has really large gardenia bushes in the back and they always smell so great and so heavenly when they do bloom. So I'm really hoping hoping I'm not too late on gardenia blooming season this year and I'm hoping that these guys will flourish and then I have some daisies and then some other random plant that I found. I honestly just walked around Lowe's and picked out what was pretty and said perennial except I'm pretty sure the daisies are just annuals and we won't see them next year. But beside the point, everything is planted in the ground now. Next up we're going to add the mulch because I wanted Christian's help for that and I am so glad I had Christian to help me with not only just the heavy lifting but also because there were giant 
giant spiders that were coming out of this bag of mulch. I'm still like a little bit like hibby jibby we like weirded out by going back here sometimes just because I know how large the spiders are that are crawling through this area. So I'm glad he was there to open these bags and spread them around for me. And then I'm just going to take a rake and even it out. For the count, I was on nine, nine all the time. Shattered soul, you took control. Now I'm gone, bye bye, bring the fire You took something beautiful and made it something cruel It's all that I get from you, you're so delusional Now watch me take control Since we waited till after Maddie's bedtime to plant all of these, it was the perfect golden hour when they were finally in the ground and the lighting was just perfect and dreamy and it was just everything I could have imagined and more, like the lavender and the sunlight, like everything was just so pretty and just amazing. So I went a little crazy with the camera shots on the flowers, but I hope you guys can appreciate just how pretty and bright and lively these all are. It just feels like summertime having this taken care of. Now moving forward to another day, the next thing we needed to take care of in this backyard is actually just mowing the grass. So Christian's gonna take care of that for us and I've actually here on YouTube a couple times gotten sucked into watching people just like take over and mow and trim grass and do the weed eater and just make a total transformation of the backyard. I know a lot of you guys like to watch cleaning content and it's kind of like the same thing. It's just satisfying to see something taken care of and cleaned up and looking way better, like of satisfying before and after. So let me know if any of you guys have ever watched those like mowing lawn videos because they are crazy addicting. It's like watching those car detail videos too. I could sit down for hours and just watch those videos. But let me know down in the comments that I'm not alone for doing that or if let me know if I'm a total weirdo. Let me know if you've never even heard of them and if you haven't heard of them, definitely recommend checking them out. Let you go, let, let, let you go. I'm gonna stick it to you. One confession to tell you guys, we actually did not complete the entire backyard in this video. This whole area back here, you don't even see from our backyard and we did not finish this area. We had plans to mulch it and just make it look nicer and get rid of the weeds and we just ran out of time and honestly motivation. All we really see when we're in our backyard is this little space right here and where the flower beds are. So I'm not that bothered by it, but maybe someday in the future we will take care of that mess over there. But moving on to another day, time to focus on the actual decor out here, rearranging things, cleaning things. And the first thing I'm doing is moving Christian's smoker over to the other side of our couch. I didn't want anything blocking the view of our flower beds and I just wanted this area a little bit more open. So I moved that over there and now you can admire all of our pretty flowers from there. And now I'm just gonna dust off and wipe down the bistro set that we have. Also sweep up some of the dirt and the dust and just tidy this area up a bit. And if you want a crazy before and after shot, stay tuned because we're about to deep clean our grill. And even Christian was shocked at how clean this became. You, 
Well, I guess before we get to the grill, I am refreshing our little doormat here. I love a layered look, so I'll link both of these down below. They're from Target. And the other ones that we had out here, I had for about two and a half years, or two years. How long have I lived in this house? I don't even remember. I think around two years. And they lasted really well and for a long time, but it, they were due for a refresh, so I just grabbed the same set, basically. I grabbed another like layering rug and then also a normal rug to go on top of that. And I love the little saying, glad you're here. I think it's very appropriate for the backyard. But moving on to the grill, I am using my favorite cleaning secret weapon. You guys have actually told me about this. I did not know about this before. You guys were commenting and letting me know all of your cleaning hacks too. And it is Barkeeper's Friend. This thing was rusty and nasty and just gross and grimy. And using this Barkeeper's Friend powder has completely transformed this and cleaned this. Now, full transparency, I did not clean this as well as I planned on it. Maddie was taking bad naps this day and things were a little bit rough and she actually woke up halfway through this project. So I did not to scrub as much as I wanted to, but it's still 10,000 times better. And I'm pretty sure it's uh, Tiffany Beeston here on YouTube who says sometimes you gotta just tell yourself done is better than perfect. And this is definitely now a clean grill. It's not perfect, it's not spotless, but it's done and it's clean and it's so much better than it was before. Hit you up, I'm on the other side. I miss you, miss you. Take you off, I came me way to strong Cannot keep it low-key Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof Auto, your taste It's really a bad reception out there Where you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? I've lost you Now we are nearing the end of this project. I'm kind of cleaning up, doing the last minute decor pieces, and then we're gonna have a new outdoor rug out here, and then I'll show you the final before and after shots. But I wanted to remind you guys that if you enjoyed this video, it really helps out my channel a ton if you will give this video a like and leave a comment down below. YouTube is very picky with how they promote videos, and basically your engagement tells them that people are liking this and to show it to new people. So it helps me more than you even know to be engaging like that, and I'm so thankful for all of you who regularly do it. It. And also down below in the description bar, I'll have some other DIY videos linked for you guys to check out if you've never seen them from my channel before. But back to the video, now that everything is picked up down here, I am laying out our new outdoor rug. I found this on Amazon for a great price. I was actually shocked at how cheap and affordable this was. So that's gonna be a great addition out here, a little bit of a pop of color, something a little bit more bold and fun than I typically go for. And once that's rolled out and I'm working on getting all of the crinks and the rolls out of it, I'm gonna place our little fire pit we grabbed from Target a while ago in the middle. Not the prettiest centerpiece, but it works, it's functional, and we do love having this little fire pit. And then that's gonna be a wrap on this outdoor makeover. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope you enjoyed these before and afters. I hope it gave you some inspiration for your own space. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. But I'm stuck on hold. It's really a bad reception out there. Where you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling your in closer to me? Yeah, I lost you. But I need you. And you're off my radar now. I lost you. Off my radar now